Step out, step, step in. in. This weekly podcast to encourage, motivate, inspire you to step out of your comfort zone, to step in to what you have been designed for and to do. Hello, this is David Joe. Please join me this and every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my Step Out, Step In podcast, live on YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page, like and follow me on Facebook and LinkedIn. One more favor, share and comment. Hope to see you on Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Good evening and hello um, ladies and gentlemen or good, should I say good afternoon or good morning depending on where you're watching from and uh, when you happen to watch the replay. Again, I want to welcome you to episode 40 of my weekly Step Out, Step In podcast. Every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'll be hosting a live Step Out, Step In podcast on YouTube, Facebook and LinkedIn. And I would like to say a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my YouTube page. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed, <laughs> I want to say please do. And don't forget to click on the notification bell uh, so that any time I post something, you will be notified. And um, again, subscribe to my YouTube page. Follow me on Facebook and LinkedIn. And if you can support this page, um, there's a link in there that says buy me a coffee and again I want to welcome everyone thank you for joining me tonight and uh, this is episode 40 and I'll be talking about what makes meaningful relationship deteriorate you know last week uh, I started off with um, making um, or developing meaningful relationships and again, my name is David Joe, and um, and as I said earlier on, I'll be delivering on the uh, the topic, the essentials of our well-being and happiness. And thank you for joining. Thank you, Nana. And um, <laughs> and um, so let's dive into it. What makes meaningful relationship deteriorate? So I want you to grab your favorite beverage, find a comfortable spot or a place, and let's back on this journey together. Uh, and as we embark on this, we want to connect. So if you're on there, um, you can please share the link with somebody. Let that one person also share the link, and let's all do this together on Facebook, YouTube, and LinkedIn. All right, so... Last week I said this request was made by um, one of my dedicated subscribers and to my Step Out, Step In podcast on YouTube and this individual, individual wanted me to talk about relationships. Last week I started on the topic building meaningful relationships and whether it's with your family, it's with your spouse, your partner, um, friends, whatever it is, a meaningful connection, a meaningful relationship can enrich our lives in countless ways. You know, building meaningful relationships is very vital and very essential as humans. And as um, I have a personal faith, so let me put it that way, as people of God. <laughs> and um, God created us for relationships because he's a God of relationships. You know, when God created man, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit came together in Genesis 1, 26, and, say, and God said, let us. So collectively they came together and said, let us make man in our image and after our likeness. And right after they said, let them have dominion. So God created us for relationships. That is why no person is an island. You know, and, and there's this other scripture in Genesis 2 in the verse 18. It says that the, the Lord God said, it is not good for a man to be alone. 
I will make him, um, the NIV says that I will make him a helper suitable for him. It says, I will make him a helper suitable for him. You know, most of the time we, uh, we hear the scripture or we uh, listen to the scripture or it's quoted during weddings, but in a way, let me put it this way, it is not only for our marriage, but this scripture is actually for relationships. I said earlier, God is a God of relationships, so he, he created you and I. You and I were are built for relationships, and not just ordinary and just common, but meaningful relationships. So, and, and meaningful relationships um, are gradually becoming superficial, <laughs> let me put it that way, I don't know about, but when you go on social media, sometimes people pride about the number of friends they have on social media, all the thousands and all that, but have we asked ourselves that, are we, can we build a meaningful relationship with all the, uh, um, the, the number of friends or followers we have on social media. So gradually, gradually, meaningful relationships is becoming superficial. But we want to get to a place where we will build better and meaningful relationships because you and I are built for relationships. In building meaningful relationships, we have to understand that it can go sour. <laughs> It can break down. I mean, just think about the number of people you've had a relationship with and now you don't have it anymore. Something might have happened. Something happened. And that relationship is, is not there anymore. So that you and I can work to address and prevent our meaningful relationships going sour. So as I said earlier, I want us to look at some of the common reasons why meaningful relationships can deteriorate. And that is what I want to spend some time tonight talking about. So let's go through a few um, points that I put down here. Number one is lack of communication. You know, communication is the cornerstone and the bloodline or the bloodline of every, um, every healthy and meaningful relationship. Have you realized that when communication breaks down or when communication is ineffective, misunderstanding can arise leading to feelings of, uh, of distance and frustration. And last week I talked about being an effective communicator. Being an effective communicator also makes you um, be, an, be an active listener. <laughs> you know, and, and we want to develop and, and work on our communication skills. So lack of communication can cause a healthy relationship to fall apart. It can cause a healthy relationship to deteriorate. Number two is trust issues. <laughs> you know, trust is very, very fragile. Let me put it this way. Trust is very fragile. And it can easily damage, it can easily be damaged by betrayal, by secrecy or repeated dishonesty and you know that trust is earned trust is earned so when trust is broken yes sometimes it makes the uh, relationship deteriorate and you and i will have to work at it to repair it and you know gaining back your trust doesn't come easy most especially when it's broken <laughs> When that trust is broken, you have to work hard to regain it. And it doesn't, you can regain it overnight. It's over an extended period of time. So let's work on our trust issues. Um, I said it's damaged by betrayal. Yes. I don't know about you, but 
you might have trusted somebody so much and shared some information with a person and the person turns around to stab you, stabs you in the back, betrays you. I, I don't think it's going to be easy trusting the person again. Also, when, when, when the person is so dishonest, and dishonesty is not just one time, but repeated dishonesty, secrecy. And once trust is eroded, it can be difficult to rebuild. And that can cause relationships, meaningful relationships, to deteriorate. Let's also talk about neglect. <laughs> You know, relationships require ongoing attention and efforts. It shouldn't always be one-sided. I said last week that, I don't know, but there are some people in, our, in my life, let me put it this way, that any time they call, I know they are in for something or they need something. I don't think that any meaningful relationship should be that way, where it's only about me, myself, and I. Now, any time a relationship is neglected, it makes both parties, um, it, it leads to that feeling of being undervalued or unimportant. It, it makes you feel undervalued or unimportant, causing the connection to weaken. So we have to work, you know, with all these things that are saying, it, is, it doesn't come over. It's something that we have to consistently work at it and work on it. So not only is a lack of communication, trust issues, neglect, let me also talk about unresolved conflict. <laughs> and I believe this, this, is, this, is, this is a big one, unresolved conflict. Unresolved conflicts are a natural part of any relationship. Whether you like it or not, the conflicts will come. It's inevitable. <laughs> you know, where I come from, there's a, there's a proverb that says that even the, uh, the tongue and the teeth are in the same house, but every now and then they fight. You know, the teeth sometimes bites the tongue and so conflicts are part of, it's a natural part of any relationship. But if, if conflict arises and it is not addressed and resolved in a healthy manner, they can um, fester and create resentment over time. Anger, resentment, bitterness. You know, it, it is said that conflicts, um, when conflicts are not resolved within 24 to 48 hours, it becomes challenging. It, it gets harder to resolve. And if we're going to build meaningful relationships, we should understand that conflicts will come, whether we like it or not. But how do we resolve these conflicts in a healthy manner so that it doesn't deteriorate our meaningful relationships? I also want to talk about changing priorities. You know, as, as, as we grow, as people grow and change, um, our priorities and interests can also shift. Now, whether you like it or not, you're, gr you're growing, you're changing over time. <laughs> you know, if I look at my picture now, and I looked at a picture I took 10 years ago, there's been a change. If not a drastic change, but there's been a change. Whether we like it or not, we're changing. But as we change over time, our interests and our, our priorities can also shift. It can also change. And, um, okay. And, and if, if these changes aren't communicated and understood by both parties, it can lead to feelings of disconnect and divergence. You know, sometimes when we get disconnected, we drift apart as well. And, and let me say this, nobody is a mind reader. <laughs> you know, sometimes we expect other people to know what is going 
um, what is what is what what we are facing and what we are um, going through when we we are not communicating. Our priorities and can change. Our interests can change, but we have to communicate that to the other parties so they all understand. We are in a world where gradually we are losing empathy. Lack of empathy can also deteriorate feelings of others. And I don't know if it's because of the social media world that we're in, but empathy is gradually being eroded. You know, when empathy diminishes, it becomes harder to connect on deeper level and support each other emotionally. Now, the emotions of other people doesn't really matter to a lot of people. I mean, and, and, and this generation can be also so mean. I shared a story last week about this gentleman who, at the airport, uh, left his two kids running around making noise and everybody and he was sitting down quietly and um, everybody was i mean those that were talking about him say oh what a bad parent what a bad father leaving the children uh, the two kids to uh, make noise at the airport while they were waiting to board their flight and i mean everybody was saying all kinds of things when they didn't know what he was going through until this lady got closer and asked him is everything okay and that is when he shared with this lady that he had just lost a wife and he was so confused. He didn't even know where he was at that particular moment. So the kids making noise, he wasn't even hearing that. And here were people all around judging him. In, I mean, those that were insulting him, insulted him. And <laughs> until, you see, Empathy would let you draw close, closer to understand the feelings of others. And when there's lack of empathy, it also destroys a relationship, meaningful relationships. When empathy diminishes, it becomes harder to connect on deeper levels and support each other emotionally. And I said earlier, we are built for relationships. And as you and I are built for relationship, we should be able to support others emotionally when they need it. So um, I've talked about, if you're just joining me, I'm talking about how um, some of the reasons why meaningful relationships can deteriorate. But we want to build meaningful, we want to build meaningful relationships. I talked about lack of communication. I talked about trust issues. You know, when trust is broken, it makes it harder to uh, build a meaningful relationship. Rather, it deteriorates a relationship. Neglect. When you neglect one another, you drift apart. Uh, unresolved conflicts. And I said, uh, um, unresolved conflicts can, if it's not resolved in a healthy manner, it, it can... Um, create resentment over time, anger, resentment, bitterness. And um, it is said that if conflicts are not resolved within the first 24 to 48 hours, it makes it harder to resolve. Changing priorities. Um, as we grow, we change our priorities, our interests change, and it can shift. And we need to communicate that to um, our, our relationships, though they can better understand. Lack of empathy. And I also want to talk about external stresses. <laughs> you know, external factors such as work pressure, financial difficulties, challenges, health issues can place strain on a relationship, making it harder to maintain the same level of connection. And I want us to pay attention to these factors. If we want to build a meaningful relationship, or if we want to build meaningful relationships, then we have to take close, we have to um, pay attention to these factors so we can work on it, work at it in order to build that meaningful relationship. Negative patterns. You know, if, if, 
Talking about the negative patterns, if a relationship falls into negative patterns of behavior, such as constant criticism, where one party is always criticized, it's all about you, 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 you know, that kind of thing, um, or, or being defensive, it, it creates a toxic atmosphere or toxic environment that erodes the bond between individuals. You know, with some people, all they know to do best is to criticize. <laughs> all they know, best, know to do best is to blame. All they know to do best is to point fingers. But if you want to build a meaningful, healthy relationship or relationships, then we have to pay close attention to these negative patterns. You know, sometimes when we do it to others, we think it's, it's okay, it's cool. But then when others do it to us, we feel the pain and the pain. And, and, and the pain. Let me also talk about unmet expectations. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, most especially in this in this. Um, people have a whole lot of unmet expectations. Now, when one or both parties have unrealistic or unspoken expectations, it can lead to disappointment and resentment over time. Yes, it is good to have a high expectation, but unrealistic expectations... Um, makes it makes it harder makes it challenging to build a meaningful uh, relationship because you'll be disappointed you'll be frustrated resentment can set in over time and that can destroy the relationship all right so number 10 our, our I'll point out this one to married couples. <laughs> and um, number 10, I, I, I said the loss of intimacy. You know, emotional and physical intimacy are crucial components of every meaningful relationship. And this is for spouses. Your emotional and physical Intimacy is, is, is very crucial. It's a very crucial component of a meaningful relationship. You know, sometimes people look at just one aspect of it, but the two goes hand in hand. You cannot neglect the, uh, the physical and expect to have the emotional, neither can you neglect the emotional and expect to have the physical intimacy. It goes hand in hand. But most of the time, we tend to neglect. We tend to ne neglect either one of them or both. And if, and if these aspects deteriorate, the relationship can feel less fulfilling and gradually it will close. It can deteriorate. So loss of intimacy. And the number 11 is growing apart <laughs> growing apart you know sometimes 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 um, people naturally grow apart sometimes yes it happens <laughs> people naturally grow apart and and people change we we change in different directions we change in, and, and the change would, can lead to gradual drifting apart. Yeah. And anything you don't work on, you don't work at it, it gradually drifts apart. And, and when, when we grow apart, when we drift, it, it makes the relationship harder because... Just imagine, you've, you, you have a relationship with somebody and you've not, check out, you've not checked on the person for a period of time, 
Yes, sometimes we, we give the excuse that we're all busy. <laughs> yes, but I believe that in spite of our busy schedules, we have to make time for other people. We have to make time for others. I told, I told um, an individual one time, I used to call this individual, um, check on them. I called, they will not pick up. They will not even return the call, not even a text message. And I, I told this individual that if you don't want the relationship, I'm not going to call you again. <laughs> and this individual thought I was just joking. And I said, look, you have to value the relationships in which you, you engage in. And you can, you can force somebody to have a relationship with you if the person doesn't. So we have to get to the place of being intentional. We have to get to the place of being um, purposeful in building healthy relationships. Don't let us grow apart. Lack of shared goals. If, if the individual in the relationship had different long-term goals and aspirations, it can lead to a lack of alignment and sense of disconnect. You know, I believe that sometimes um, you need to share your goals with some of the some of your um, close relationships. Um, when I talk about close relationships, the trusted ones. And once you share your goals with them, I mean, they can understand you more. Because with your long-term goals, short-term goals, medium-term goals, puts you on a trajectory where you, you, you're pointing towards a direction. And pointing towards that direction, if it's communicated well, your relationships can understand and they can go alongside with you. And the last but not the least, it's, uh, let me talk about external influences. <laughs> external influences. External influences, family, friends, or, 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 or social, um, or the society pressure can sometimes influence a relationship negatively, causing conflicts or altering the dynamics. We all belong to a family, we have friends, we, we find ourselves in a society and sometimes the pressure from the family, the pressure from friends, from society can influence our relationships to go sour. It can impact it negatively, causing conflicts and altering the dynamics of the relationship. So just a quick recap, um, I said we, we're working on building meaningful relationships and as we build meaningful relationships, there are some common reasons why sometimes meaningful relationships can deteriorate and, and these are some of the factors that I've talked about. And number one is lack of communication, number two is trust issues, number three is neglect. Number four is unresolved, unresolved conflicts. Number five is changing priorities. Number six is lack of empathy. Number seven is external stressors. And number eight is negative patterns, which follows, I mean, behaviors um, such as constant criticisms, pointing fingers, um, blaming, playing the blame game on everyone. Unmet expectations, where our expectations are so high and, I mean, it's, it goes beyond the normal. A loss of intimacy for couples. Um, emotional and physical intimacy are so crucial and these are crucial components in, in meaningful relationships. And if these aspects deteriorate, a relationship can feel less fulfilling and it can close. 
Number 11 is growing apart. Number 12 is lack of shared goals. Number 13, the last but not the least, is external influence. And to prevent meaningful relationships from deteriorating, ladies and gentlemen, it's important to consistently invest time and effort in nurturing them. I said earlier, yes, I mean, most people are busy. <laughs> but in spite of our busy schedules, let's make time. Let's be intentional. Let's, 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 let's prevent meaningful relationships from deteriorating. And the only way by which we can do this is to consistently invest time and effort in nurturing them. You know, I said the other time that open communication, um, active listening, empathy, and willingness to work through challenges together are essential in maintaining strong and fulfilling connections. So let's work at it. Let's work at building meaningful relationships, especially in this social media era where some people pride in the number of people they have on their social media um, platforms where relationships are gradually becoming superficial. So again, thank you for watching or tuning in to my Step Out Step In podcast live. And if you happen to watch the replay, thank you for tuning in. Please don't forget to subscribe to my Step Out Step In podcast, share and comment and um, i think there's a link in there that says buy me a coffee click on that to support this page all right so watch this page and i will be back in a moment Alright, again, thank you for tuning in to my Step Out Step In podcast. Before I sign off, let me do this real quick. Uh, there's a few things I want to do right here. And again, thank you for tuning in. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Share, comment. Um, you can send in your suggestions. Um, let me know. Um, send, send in your constructive criticisms. <laughs> And just to better improve the uh, the page and watch the space i'll be right back hey this is david i'm a pastor at all nations church virginia located down here in stafford virginia i want to personally invite you to worship with us this sunday when you get here you find a welcoming family you participate in our uplifting praise and worship songs you also hear a Christ-centered, dynamic message. We are a church to come discover where we are restoring people and releasing their potential by connecting them to God. And we are located at 1449 Courthouse Road, Stafford, Virginia. And the zip code is 22554. We'll see you this Sunday at 2 p.m. All right, so if you're looking for a family oriented bible believing church i want to personally invite you to all nations church virginia located at 1449 courthouse road stafford and if you're within the stafford fredericksburg Quantico, dumfries area i'd like to personally invite you this and every sunday at 2 p.m and for more information please visit us on the web www.allnationsva.org I also want to personally introduce my spiritual father, Dr. Frank Ofoso, up here every Tuesday at 6 p.m. on Facebook and Facebook and um, what's the other one? YouTube. <laughs> Facebook and YouTube live every Tuesday um, with the Ambassador of Hope. 
and this week um, um, he's still dealing with the topic hard questions soft answers I believe we all have hard questions please tune in this Tuesday at 6 p.m. come in with your hard questions to receive a soft answer and if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube page yet please do so um, YouTube is Franco Fusso Apia the official and Facebook is the ambassador of hope page every Tuesday at 6 p.m. share the link with somebody and let's do this together this Tuesday hard questions soft answers coming with your hard questions you know this is a dispensation where people have a whole lot of questions on their mind <laughs> um, yes coming with those hard questions and I, I, I bet you you will leave fulfilled with the soft answer all right so I think this brings us to the end of today's episode and um, let's see here just all right so this brings us to the end of today's episode and again thank you for tuning in to my live step out step in podcast next week god willing i'll be talking on or i'll be talking about how technology has had a profound impact on how we build a meaningful how we build and maintain meaningful relationships how technology so next week please tune in don't miss it and again don't forget to subscribe and um, like follow share comment and support me by buying me a coffee let's connect on Monday at 6 p.m. and watch the space again thank you for joining me and until same time next week keep spreading love understanding and connection as you and I build the meaningful relationships stay tuned for more inspiring content this is David Joe signing off for my step out step in podcast and until we meet again I say goodbye <laughs>